Hello and welcome to SARA Online Academy. In this video, we will show you a brief demo of how SARA Online Academy works. So this is the home page. We've got home, subject, curriculum, donate and contact us at the top. We abide by our principle, which is perfection through practice. The green tab in the middle, teachers and parents, followed by students. So let's scroll this down. And there's a bit more regarding what SARA Online Academy is. And to the right is the video you're watching right now. Further down, there's a bit more information. And there is a contact us section where you can contact us directly. Okay, now let's go to the top. Now the first thing for you to do is to register. Let me just show you on a different screen. Here we go. The username, first name, last name, email, and so forth. It's pretty straightforward. And then you register. That doesn't cost you anything. Now once you have registered as a teacher or a parent, that gives you access to the videos, but not the quizzes. What do you do once you've registered? Let's move to the next screen. Here it is. This is the account I have. So the next step is to add a student. And in this screen shows you how to add the students. You create a username, first name, last name, and so forth. And over here we have a month pack or an annual pack. Now the month pack costs £3.50 per month in sterling and the annual pack costs £20 for the entire year. Both of them give you access to the complete site but obviously if you're going to use the site it's better to get the annual pack so the results keep going forwards as well. Okay but it's entirely up to you. And at the bottom here I've created or should I say I've added four students. We have the names of the students, the email addresses, and we've got assign tasks, view the results. Now the assigning the tasks is very unique for this website. I'll just show you an example. Okay. I have assigned this particular task for this particular student. Again, this is very unique. The subject, there's two at the moment, the year, and that gives you a breakdown followed by the topic, the level, and each of this updates as you go through this. Okay, and this is what I have assigned to that particular student. And if I show you one more screen, this shows you the results of each of the quizzes. At the top, we have the assigned tasks to that particular student. Okay, they can start the quiz by clicking over here. And at the bottom, we have all the results. So this is in chronological order. Whenever the user, the student has taken a quiz, completed it, it just shows you the results. It shows you the first attempt and the last attempt. Okay. Now there is a much better results section and I'm going to come on to that right now. We go back to the home screen. I'm just going to log in. I just created I just created a profile so that we can work through this. Okay. And let's move on to subjects. Now this just takes a little bit of time to load because there is a lot of data on this website. Okay? There's a lot of videos and there are a lot of quizzes. Now when you click onto subjects, you come to this screen. This describes what we are doing. So we've got up to year 6 and we are creating the quizzes and the videos for years 7 to 13. On the left hand side we've got numeracy by topic. Let's click on that and this gives you a list of all the topics that are covered. This is in alphabetical order. Addition, addition and subtraction, comparing and ordering numbers and so forth. Let's click on numeracy by years and we've got year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. As I've mentioned we are adding years 7 to 13 shortly. Now let's suppose we click on year 2. 
and that gives a breakdown of all the topics that are covered in that particular year. So the years is very important if your child is attending school. The topics is important, say for example, if your child is being homeschooled or needs help in just one particular area. So year two, and this is arranged systematically in the best way a child can learn. So we start off with the easiest learning numbers, comparing and ordering numbers, odd and even numbers, more and less than, and it keeps going forward. So let's click on addition. Here, this is broken down into a lot of subtopics. We've got numbers up to 10, number bonds 10, number bonds 20, and the first three are recaps because they were covered in year one. Let's pick one here two digit numbers and ones. Now this screen appears. Now we've got a circle with an arrow, or should I say a triangle, pointing to the right. Now that is the, sig the sign for a video. Where we have a question mark, that is the quiz. Now ignore the number at the beginning, that is just for our reference, our classification of all the quizzes. Below that, we've got another video and two more quizzes. So let's have a look at our first video. Let's, uh, let's go to, verti to the vertical format. And just whilst that is loading, on the top here, you can go back and forth very easily. Subjects, numeracy by years, year two, addition, two digit numbers and ones. And we are now looking at the vertical format. So this is our video, and all of these are available on YouTube. You can play the video, and, and there, you can hear me in the background. Edition. I'll just turn that to mute. And the great thing about this is that you can go back and forth as much as you like. Okay, This is not like a, in a classroom. Here, you can replay the videos again and again. Now, once you've watched the video, understood it, the next step is to take the quiz. So let's go to the next one. We have two digit numbers and ones, the vertical format. Let's see what the quiz looks like. Here we go. Good luck. Start the quiz. So in this, we actually explain what you have to do, followed by the quiz to make sure you've understood it. And the question we have is, is the following true or false? 75 plus 2 equals 77. Okay, that's true and check and we get a nice smiley face the next question another true or false all of the questions are randomized okay in this scenario let's suppose this one is true it isn't you get a cross okay answer the following question where you have to type in the answer now there's a couple of things i forgot to mention if your child is going through year two i mentioned i was going to tell you how the results are shown and this is it you click on year two and it shows you here year two a brief description followed by the results so so far I have completed one percent of year two scroll down I've done five percent of learning numbers zero percent of comparing and ordering and so forth and you can work through this as you will see there's a lot there are a lot of topics and a lot of subtopics to work through. So the child will be kept busy. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how the child is progressing from year to year. And in a nutshell, that is how SARA Online Academy works. Okay, it's very much involvement of the parent and the teacher with the student. The student watches the videos, goes through them, and then picks one of the quizzes to work through. Okay. And we are going to be adding a lot more topics, a lot more years, and we're going to be adding other subjects such as chemistry, biology, and physics. So have a crack at SARA Online Academy. Good luck. If you have any queries, by all means, give us a shout. Thank you for watching this video.